How do I delete a derived configuration? Let's right click on our derived configuration. Notice that we don't have the delete option in the context sensitive menu. The reason for that is because it's the active configuration and you can't delete the active configuration. First, you have to make another configuration active and you do that with a double click. Now we can delete it. Yes to confirm. To change configuration properties, just right click on the configuration and scroll down to properties. And let's cancel out of this dialog window. Currently, our default configuration is active. Let's add a feature to this configuration. I'm going to add a fillet. And let's create a couple fillets to this edge and this edge, except our default values. Let's go back to the Configuration Manager, switch to Configuration 1. The fillets don't appear in Configuration 1. That's because the Suppress Features checkbox was checked. Now in Configuration 2, we didn't check that option. So the fillet is suppressed only in Configuration 1, not in Configuration 2. Now let's check the properties for our second configuration. Right click, Properties. Let's check Suppress Features and click OK. Let's take a look at the relation between a parent configuration and its derived configuration. I'm going to add a derived configuration and I'll give it a name, der-config OK. Now this is our active configuration. Let's go back to the default configuration. Let's change the hole diameter, let's say to 30 millimeters. OK. Click OK to accept the dimension and click the Update button. Now let's make our derived configuration the active configuration with a double click. As you see, the hole diameter has updated in our derived configuration as well. Let's change the hole diameter in our derived configuration too. Let's make it 10 millimeters. Before I click OK, I'm going to apply it to this configuration only, then click OK. And click OK to exit the dimension, rebuild, and save. Let's go to the parent configuration. I'm prompted to rebuild. The hole diameter didn't change in this configuration. However, as you remember, I chose to apply my new dimension to this configuration only. Let's accept and accept again and rebuild. As you see, the hole stays the same. Let's double click on the hole again. In the dimension input window, we've got the option to link this dimension to the parent configuration. Let's accept and rebuild. But this, of course, is not a permanent link by any means. Let's close our part. And let's reopen it. By the way, be sure the quick filter for parts is selected. Let's select part two. And here we can select the configuration that we want to open. Open and rebuild. Let's go back to our default configuration. Rebuild. Now I'm going to select and suppress the cut extrude one and fillet one. I can do that from the right click contextual menu, or I can go to edit. And under Suppress, we have some configuration options. We can choose this configuration, all configurations, and specified configurations. Let's specify the configurations. Leave the default configuration selected, and let's click OK. Now when we switch configurations, we can see that the hole and fillets are still here in configuration 1. Let's rebuild. Let's rebuild. 